Hello folks, let's go ahead and take a look at SAP dashboard design today. The version and build number are down here. What I'm going to do is pick an existing sample from what SAP provides when you install the software. So you go to File, Samples, and uh, the one that I'm going to pick on today uh, to, for the demo is the Chart Drill Down. It's a very basic one, but at the same time a nice one with uh, some drill down features. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, end result. So let's go ahead and do a preview. And uh, basically you see two charts here, a pie chart and a bar chart or a column chart. This pie chart here is showing the sales of an organization split by the various branches in the organization and every time you click on a particular slice of the pie, yeah, you're going to see further breakdown details or further details uh, broken down here and uh, it's showing monthly sales of whatever branch you have selected. Let's get out of the preview mode. Uh, first I'll quickly show you how to export data from Excel CS into an Excel file if you wanted to. You would go to data, export, and type in a name. Let's say sales data sample. I'll click on save. And we will go ahead and create a new Excelsius dashboard, actually. And we'll see how to achieve the same end result. First thing, go ahead and import your data. Data, import. Uh, say yes, and say sales data sample. Here is all my data. Let me just expand this a little further. Here is all the data. You have options of looking only at the spreadsheet if you wanted to. You would say, uh, what was that? Do not look at, I think you could avoid all these if you wanted to. View components, view properties, view object browser, close all those, view query browser, everything closes. And there was a way for me to look only at the Excel if I wanted to. Where did that go? View, I think it was quick views. Yeah, my workspace. And then you would say view canvas only. So it's showing only uh, the chart component or the canvas where you would insert your various visualizations or you would go to view spreadsheet only, so you're seeing only your spreadsheet, or you would go to canvas and spreadsheet, which I had before. Let me go ahead and bring back my components here, and uh, let us go ahead and include a pie chart. I'm going to take it from charts here, bring in a pie chart here. And uh, I need to see my properties also. So view properties. That brings up the properties panel on the right hand side. Go to pie chart. What do you want to call this? Let's say sales uh, chart or I don't know, something like that. And for the subtitle, I'm going to pick it from the Excel file here. So let's go to, come on, move. Let's go to sales by branch. So that's the subtitle now for my data. I'm going to just pick up the data from the total column here, this one here. So uh, just go right click here. And uh, actually, it already by default selects this uh, because I had before clicking there, I had selected this. Let's say if I had selected year and then if I go here, it would by default select that. And I could always change that. Okay, what happened here? That was the label, my bad. Needs to be this, and for the labels, I'm gonna pick it up from here. Basically, names of the various branches. That gives me by sales by uh, branch. Yeah, there you have. And if you wanted to display your uh, data within the pie chart, there is an option somewhere here that says, uh, show the data values or something like that. Let's see, where is it? Text, data labels, show the data labels, and it'll show the data labels in your pie chart if you wanted to see it. Well, it doesn't look very nice, so I wouldn't recommend until, unless maybe you have a much bigger chart perhaps, right? But anyways, I'm gonna switch it off for now. Okay, now uh, let's look at what further we're going to do with this chart. 
we're going to look at something called data insertion. Basically what this means is uh, I want data from one, you know some kind of data to be inserted somewhere else in my Excel worksheet. Now uh, we will take a look at what a row data is or insertion type is row. Basically what this means is take my data from one uh, range. Let's say in this case I'm going to say all the way from A6 to M11. I'm going to say OK and take that data and insert it elsewhere. I'm going to say insert it in this yellow range that you see here, which is A2 to, what's that, M, what's that, M2. Okay, click on OK. And uh, I'm actually going to use another chart like how we saw in the sample to display this inserted data. But before we do that, let us go ahead and... Uh, you know, um, go ahead and insert another component here, which is which will help us understand the behavior. I'm going to go to the list actually and select something called spreadsheet table. Let's uh, try and understand the behavior. I double clicked and the uh, properties of the spreadsheet table opened up. I'm going to say display data from. This doesn't help it much when you don't have the Excel file visible. So I'm going to go back to Quick View, select both of these, double click on this guy here, and say display data from all the way from here, A1 to all the way down to M11. Click on OK, and uh, let's go and take a look at what we have here. I'm going to again go back at looking only at the uh, canvas. Now let's uh, track this guy a little here. Now you see how the chart is going outside the canvas. You could increase the size of your canvas by clicking on this, uh, oh come on, where is it, plus sign, increase canvas size or decrease canvas size or I could say fit to window which gives a lot of extra white space or I could say fit to components which will make it fit just right for the components and then I'll increase it by a few points. Okay bring this guy back in the middle here and increase the size a little. Okay now let's see what happens uh, based on you know this information that we selected your enable data insertion, row type insertion, select data from this source here, A6 to M11, and insert it into uh, the row A2, I mean, uh, the second row, basically. Let's go to preview. And uh, right now I'm not clicking on any of the pie charts, or I mean any of the slices in the pie. I'm going to go click on one and see what happens. Anytime I click on a particular branch, it inserts that value in yellow. The only significance of having those rows highlighted in yellow is uh, when I build the next chart based on these inserted rows, I know where to grab my data from. I would think you would not want this spreadsheet in your final result, but I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, and I'm going to go back to view components and let us include what is called a bar chart or a column chart. I forgot the name already. Category, column chart. Okay, now for this data, uh, let me go back to my other view and see uh, both my spreadsheet and canvas. I am going to insert some dummy values here. These are not the values that are really going to be used, but you know, when I'm building my component, it helps to have some dummy values here. Double click on my component. <coughs> Write whatever name you want here for the title and subtitle. I'm going to leave it as blank and then 
go by series here and uh, have uh, what's that yo I mean actually add a series I'm gonna call this monthly sales and my data is gonna come from here to where is it to M I believe select that you see how those dummy values that I entered here uh, show up and for the labels I'm gonna go select them from here basically Jan to December there you go I'm going to bring this chart a little towards the left expand it further and uh, let's go ahead and do a preview again and uh, there you go you have your charts here every time I click on this you see the behavior in the Excel and then on the chart you'll see that things keep changing based on what branch I select so yeah that was your first sample uh, you know let me try and show you a couple of other minor things so uh, if I myself am able to remember I select tool charts and uh, I'm able to align them on the top here or by selecting this option we do uh, left alignment they'll actually put them one on top of the other so I don't want to do that do I do a control Z and get them back out and uh, yeah uh, the way this alignment works is let's say if I select the first one here and then this as the second one and then I do a left align the first one I selected is the one that's used as an anchor if I select this one as the first and then this second and then do a left alignment you see this one on the right I acts as an anchor but anyways I don't want to do it now what else do I have here which I could quickly show you perhaps uh, you could make size of both charts equal let's say if one chart was not same in size uh, let me just expand it here and uh, this is my first chart I select this as my second chart uh, and I would say hey I thought I knew this make same width or make same height uh, it did make it the same height but it put it out of alignment so I'm just gonna go do this so it aligns it back here so yeah, that's a look at some of the commonly used uh, functionalities or, you know, helpful features. Uh, again, that was your first simple pie chart with uh, in data insertion. Hope this was uh, helpful and uh, thank you very much for watching.